Okay, so the turbo is out of the car. I'm going to show you guys how to install the new wastegate. It's actually not too difficult. Right over here, there's two bolts, so it's a 5mm Allen key. And then if you follow it through here on the other side, it will be difficult to see now. But once I remove it, you'll see it's basically just like a clip that clips in. So you're just going to take maybe a flat screw drive or something and just push it out. So very simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to loosen these two bolts. Then it's going to give me some play because I try to think maybe I must remove this one first. But as you can see, the gap here is a bit small. The gap there is, uh, is bigger. Sorry, just focus. Damn it. Let me see. There we go. So the gap this side is small and the gap this side is big, which says it is a little bit on an angle. So as soon as I loosen the wastegate, it should be able to tilt correctly and give me some more room. Uh, not more room, but easier to get the circle clip out underneath. So now we're going to place the upgraded one in. So this can be kind of difficult because when you place it in here, the screws might not line up 100%. So what you're going to do is you're just going to keep on taking it out, making adjustments and keep on trying until you get the correct length, which I feel very positive with this part of here. If you turn it too much, you're going to have slack and your flap will actually be open. So you got to make sure it is as tight as possible. And around about a year, I would say I would be happy. So now we're just going to do everything what we did previously. We're going to put the two screws in. We're going to put the circlip here at the back and then the pipe here on the, the waste gate top. Okay, so we got the clip in here at the back. It was a bit difficult. I actually just took the back of the long nose pliers, just hit it to get it in. Over here it's tight. The most important thing is it's got this lever here. You just want to make sure it doesn't move at all when it's installed. Both of these ones are in. And then obviously this pipe I had to get from uh, other turbo. So this pipe is actually this pipe here. So what happens is this pipe was just too small. So when it goes in there, I couldn't get it over the nipple over here. So yeah, you guys just make sure they don't give this with the kit, make sure you have a longer pipe. I was lucky, but there we go, it is in. So now we gotta put the entire turbo back in the car.